Well, praise the Lord this morning. What a joy it is to be in the presence of the Lord with the people of God around the world and across the air this Monday morning. We come to say that this is the day that the Lord has made and we will rejoice and be glad in it. <laughs> we know that people is going to come everywhere this morning because this is the day and the beginning of the week and we believe God to do great and mighty things in our lives and with our lives today. As we go in the very presence of God, something supernatural is happening for us today in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. And we thank God for all of our members, amen, and all of our friends that is a part of this international conference, prayer conference, as we meet together on Monday morning, the beginning of the week, to go before the Lord and pray. We're praying for you. We will be praying for you and giving you some arsenal for your box, amen, so that we can fight against the forces of darkness and we can see God working on our behalf in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Remember that we are never defeated. Amen. Oh, we are not to be defeated because God has given us the equipment. Glory to God, I said the equipment to overcome the plans of the enemy this morning in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. We have everything in our box. We have everything that pertaineth to godliness. We got everything that pertaineth to life. Glory to God and the peace of God that passeth all understanding is keeping your heart, is keeping your mind, is keeping your spirit in connection with God. So this morning we are grateful for all of you who are coming on this morning. And, and as you come on this morning, we want you to subscribe to this, um, to this broadcast, uh, subscribe to it and share it with your friends. Also, we give you the opportunity to call a friend or call a loved one, somebody who is in need of prayer, amen. Call them right now and tell them that the International Prayer Conference is on the air around the world and across the air and they can call in, give them the call in number and tell them they, they can call in for their deliverance, they can call in for their breakthrough, they can call in for their miracles, they can see the hands of God working for them and working on them in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. We remember the word of the Lord that said that this is the day that the Lord has made and we will rejoice. Glory to God. Let me say again, we will rejoice. Glory to God. I want to let the devil and all of his cohorts hear us plainly saying, this is God's day. Amen. We will not be defeated. We will rejoice and be glad in it. Amen. This is a moment that we are going to be glad because God has made us glad. We sing this, sing this song in church. Well, he has made me glad. I want to make that clear to every one of us today. God has really made us glad, and we are glad for the presence of God that will be flowing on your life this morning. Remember the word of the Lord said that the righteous shall be as bold as a lion. <laughs> the righteous shall be as bold as a lion. And we have all of these things in our box today that we are going to defeat the enemy, amen. You ask me, well, what do I have to defeat the enemy? Every child of God has given the equipment to overcome the devil. Number one, the first part of our um, um, kind of arsenal that is in our box is the weapon of prey, glory to God. And the Bible said that men ought always to pray and not to faint. That is one of our, our arsenals in our box this morning. And the Bible said that we ought to be praying in the Spirit always. Pray all kind of pray. Ephesians chapter 6 and verse number 18 said that we ought to pray all kind of pray with prayer and supplication. Glory to God. Amen. We ought to make our requests be made known unto God. We have been armored this morning with the kind of armor that we can overcome the devil. Nothing should cause us to be defeated this week. Glory to God. We told you that the doors of opportunity and divine favors rest upon you this week, this year. And we believe that supernatural things are going to happen for you spiritually, financially, emotionally, and otherwise. We are holding on our way. The word of the Lord tell us in Psalms number 34, I will bless the Lord. And then that verse said, I say of the Lord, he is my refuge and my fortress, my God, in him will I trust. Let's get together this morning. 
amen, wherever you are and whoever you are, we have got together not just to hear our names call on the system this morning, but we have come together because we believe the word of the Lord that said what? can chase a thousand and two can put 10,000 to flight. We are putting the devil to shame this morning. Amen. Because greater is he, glory to God, that is in us than he that is in the world. We're overcoming it every area of our life this morning. And we are grateful. We are grateful for all of you, praise God, who have been a part of this conference around the world. We are doing great things, something happening all over the world. For us in the name of the Lord is happening in Liberia. It's happening in Ghana. It is happening in Barbados and throughout the Caribbean. Glory to God. People are calling us everywhere and letting us know because of this prayer conference that something is happening right here in the United States, in North Carolina. Glory to God in Mississippi. Glory to God in Louisiana. Glory to God. People everywhere are calling us and letting us know that this prayer conference is reaching them. And when we pray, something is happening. If we did not believe and pray, we would have stopped. We believe and pray and commit in ourselves to the Lord. It is 2 Chronicles 7 and 14 said, If my people which are called by my name would humble themselves, pray and seek my face and turn from their wicked ways, then will they hear from heaven. I'll forgive their sins and I'll heal their lands. Amen. And I must tell you this morning, I believe that America need a healing. Glory to God. That's why we are here. Your city need a healing. Your country need a healing. Your neighborhood need a, a healing. Your home need a healing. Your family need a healing. You got some families who don't know the Lord as their personal Savior. Glory to God. We will be praying for them this morning. And we are going to see the supernatural power of God working in their life, bringing them to the place. Glory to God. Where they have to cry out to the Lord Jesus Christ. Amen. The Bible says, repent and be baptized, every one of you, uh, in the name of Jesus Christ, for the remission of your sins, and you shall receive the Holy Ghost. We need, the, we need somebody to guide us. We need something to guide us. We need some, someone to lead us. And the Holy Ghost promised to do that today in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. And we are the one who are going to guide you to him. We are the ones who are going to guide you to the Holy Spirit. How can they hear without the preacher? And how can the preacher preach unless he be sent? We believe that we're sent here to help you to understand your purpose in God and lead you to your prophetic destiny in the Lord Jesus Christ. Glory to God. And so we're grateful for all of you this morning. We're grateful for you who are going to join us on Facebook. Yes, they're joining us on Facebook everywhere. Blessed be unto God. And those who are joining us on this prayer conference line, Glory to God. We thank God for your life. We thank God because uh, you put off the spirit of laziness this morning and you put on the armor of God this morning. You're well equipped. Glory to God. We are ready, ready to pray. Not only that we have the weapons of uh, uh, pray in our, in, our, in our box, but we also have another weapon in our, in our boxes called the weapon of worship. Glory to God. Pray, worship, praise, amen. All of those are arsenals in our box that we're going to use against the devil's kingdom. We're pulling down strongholds this morning. We're destroying the plans of the enemy this morning. We're getting ready to make a havoc of hell this morning. Hell will be horrified, but God and heaven will be glorified. Get ready for it this morning as we get ready to pray this morning in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. I hope that you're calling up all your families and calling your loved ones and tell them, get around the phone right now. Get around the television. Glory to God. Get around your phone. Get around right now because something is happening right now in the atmosphere. There is a change in the atmosphere right now in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. So call your friends and call your loved ones and let them know that someone is praying for them and praying with them right now in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. And there is not a problem too big that God cannot handle. There's not a problem too small that God can't handle. There's not a breakthrough too great that God can't break through. He can come through the roof. He can come through the door. Glory to God. Wherever you ask him to come in, because one of the names, compound names of our God is Jehovah Shammah. He is right there right now. God is right there Right now, oh God, I feel you right here in the studio right now. I sense in the presence of God that somebody need a move of God. And I promise to you this morning, before we get off this conference call this morning, somebody is going to experience the very move of God in your life 
in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. People are going to be changed. Lives are going to be transformed by the very power of God. And we're going to see the mighty hands of God working for you and working with you in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Glory to God. We bless God for you, you, and especially you this morning in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Praise God from whom all blessings flow in the name of Jesus Christ. Get ready to pray right now. I hope that you're ready, and we're asking all of our, our uh, prayer partners and those intercessors who are on this line to get on your war clothes this morning Get ready for a great move of God in your life and on your life in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Yes, we saw you, Herbert. Glory to God all the way from France. You are joining with us this morning. Thank God for your life, Herbert. Amen. All the way from France. We see you, Sister Tracy. God bless you. Thank you for joining with us. We see you, Bishop Momo, all the way from Liberia. You're joining with us this morning in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. And as you show up in the presence of the Lord uh, with us today, whatever is happening here in the studio is happening for you right now in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. It is happening right now for you, and we are seeing a breakthrough in your life in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Father, we want to thank you. We want to praise you and we want to glorify your name. First, because you are our master. You are our king. You are our redeemer. You are our savior. Thank you for healing our bodies and keeping our bodies healed. Keeping us from the spirit of torment. That spirit who will try to torment us in every area of our life. Thank you because you have canceled the plans of the enemy right now. Every assignment of the devil is canceled in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. And we thank you because you have not given us the spirit of fear, but the spirit of love, power, and the sound mind. Thank you for the soundness of mind. Thank you for a good heart. Thank you for a good spirit that we can worship you. We come, Lord God, not with our agenda, but we come with the agenda of God to declare unto you that our God is a good God. We say that you are a loving Father. You are a sweet Savior. You are the darling of our souls. You are the King of kings and the Lord of lords. You are the same yesterday, today, and shall remain the same forevermore. You're riding on the storms. You ride over every obstacle. You carry us in the palms of your hand. Glory to God. And when the sand was sinking, you lift us above sinking sand. You pull us out of the mirror out of the clay and out of the pit. You pull us out this morning. And because of that this morning, we have a testimony in our hearts, in our lips. We declare over ourselves and over our life this morning, the Lord is my light and my salvation. Glory to God. We want the devil to hear this this morning. The Lord is my light and my salvation. I want everyone to know that this morning. I want every saint of God to understand that this morning. Hallelujah. That we're speaking directly against hell this morning in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. We say this morning, the Lord is my light and my salvation. Whom shall I fear? The Lord is the strength of my life. Of whom shall I be afraid? When the enemy came in upon me to eat at my flesh, they stumble and fall. We thank God because things are falling. Every hell, every spirit of hell, every spirit, every witch, every witch, glory to God, every warlock, glory to God, every spirit of setback, Every spirit of delay in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ is now being confounded because the great one lived in us. Every spirit of sickness and disease, glory to God, because we still believe the word of the Lord. And God, your word stand. You was wounded for our transgression, bruised for our iniquity. The chastisement of our peace was upon you, but with his stripes we are healed. Thank you for your healing hands now. Glory to God. Thank you for your healing hands in Barbados. Thank you for your healing hands in Trinidad. Thank you for your healing hands in Liberia. Thank you for your healing hands in Paris. Oh, God, they're joining us from everywhere. Glory to God. Thank you for your healing hands that have stretched over this media and stretched over the countries of the world where we are reaching them right now in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. 
bodies are being reclaimed. Re, uh, uh, bodies are being stirred up right now in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ and the healing virtue of God is moving supernaturally for the people of God in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. We still stand upon the word of the Lord that said, the Lord of hosts is with us and the God of Jacob is our refuge. So we run into the city of refuge this morning. Glory to God, the place that you tell us that we can come to. And Lord, we are not coming in because we are panting, because we are weary, because we are tired. But your word tell us that we ought to come boldly to the throne of grace, that we can find help even in the time of need. So in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ, we come in with boldness this morning. Glory to God. We come in with boldness this morning. We walk in boldly to the throne of grace this morning. We have access to the Father. Glory to God. We thank you because you have given us access because the veil was torn down. Glory to God. Hallelujah. And we can come boldly now. We come in boldly. We come in with our hands lifted up. We come with our heart. We come with a heart full of praise and gratitude. Glory to God. God, forgiveness, us life and strength and godliness, all things that pertain to you, you have given it to us and now we give back the glory and the honor and the praise because you have given us all things, glory to God. Thank you for doing it this morning in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Father, as we approach thy throne this morning, somebody on this line and somebody on Facebook, somebody somewhere, they are standing in need of something because everyone that stands and stare and call this morning, we differ in need and we differ in faith. But your word tell us that one chase a thousand, two put 10,000 to flight. We are agreeing one with another right now for the breaking down and the pulling down of strongholds. So everyone who have a need this morning, we still believe the word of the Lord and the word of the Lord is right. My God. Glory to God, my Jehovah Shammah, my God shall supply all of our needs according to the riches of his glory. Glory to God, you are our Jehovah Shammah right now. You are Jehovah Shalom, glory to God. You're giving us peace. You are right here, right now in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. And God, I claim right now for everyone on this line that every need in their life would be met today in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. There shall be no delays. There shall be no setbacks. Glory to God. There shall be no hindrance coming in your way in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. And now we set out our arsenal out of our box right now to catch anything that is coming against us right now in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. We set up our praise right now. We set up our praise right now to defeat any plans of the enemy that will seek to come over our house. We take the authority right now and we take out another arsenal from our box which is called the blood of the Lord Jesus Christ. And we apply the blood to our lives. We apply the blood to our eyes. We apply the blood to our doorposts. Glory to God over our homes. We apply the blood on our children this morning in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. There are many who are going to go, 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 go to school this morning. We take the efficacious blood of the Lord Jesus Christ and we apply it to our children this morning. Glory to God because the children are the heritage of the Lord. And in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. I command in Jesus' name every spirit of rebellion, glory to God, that would want to rise up in our children, every spirit of disobedience that would want to rise up in our children and our grandchildren and our nephews and our nieces and our cousins, in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ, we cancel all the assignments of the devil right now that would seek to overrule our family. We curse generational curse this morning in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. We send back all of those assignments that come from the devil to our houses right now. We cancel them and we send them back from whence they came. We rise over every obstacle this morning in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. We say by the word of the Lord Jesus Christ, we shall not be embossed. We shall not be made ashamed today in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. This day and this week will be the best week and the best days of our lives in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. We believe your word right now in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ as we stand together 
and we pray together, we'll speak the same thing. 1 Corinthians 1 and 10 said that, beloved, I, uh, that we speak the same thing and that there be no division among us and that we would perfectly join together in the same mind and the same judgment. Oh God, let your presence flow right now. Let your presence flow right now in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. For the people of God on this line, let your presence flow right now in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Again, we pull out the weapon of pray and the weapon of praise and the blood of the Lord Jesus Christ. We declare that we are going to give our testimony. Here goes another arsenal we pull out of our box. That our words that come out of our mouth would be the testimony of the Lord Jesus Christ. Which he declared in the book of Revelation that we overcame him by the word of our testimony and by the blood of the Lamb. So we pull them out this morning. We take them the blood of the Lord Jesus Christ and the testimony of Jesus Christ, which is the truth of God in us right now. We are declaring right now that we are more than conquerors in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Master everything for us in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Guide our steps because the word of the Lord said that the steps of a good man is ordered by the Lord. Now order our steps. Go, Lord, the way that we would want us to go. Lead us in the place that we should go. In the name of the Lord Jesus Christ, we pray for those that are on the job, that you will grant promotions. Glory to God, because promotion cometh not from the east or from the west, but it comes from the Lord. We call increase for the people of God. Everyone that would pay their tithes and would give their offerings and would make sacrifices for the presence of God and for the anointing of God and would send the gospel to the ends of the earth. We pray in the name of the Lord that you will grant them a double portion in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Let double portion of wealth come to them right now to every giver in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. I declare a double portion come to them right now in Jesus' name. And I rebuke sickness and disease and anything that will try to take away their finances right now. It is your word that said in the book of Malachi that you're going to rebuke the devourer for our sake. Any devouring spirit that would come to take away our finances, to take away our health, to take away our prosperity. In Jesus' name, we thank you because you're rebuking it right now in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Thank you for the open door you have given to us. There goes it again, the open door to which you have given to us in this year 2020. God, we promise that we will not sit and be uh, at ease and that we will not sit back and stand back and live, live in a lacidical state. We promise that we're going to go forward this morning in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. As the water came out from the temple right now and flow, and it was to our ankle, help us, God, to go further till it recover our entire bodies. Water so deep that we have to swim in it right now in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Thank you for doing it this morning, and we bless you, and we worship you, and we honor you for doing it in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Thank you for every saint of God and every family of God that have joined together this morning for this one purpose of lifting up the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. It is your word that said, if you be lifted up from the earth, you will draw all men unto you. Thank you for doing it right now. In Jesus' precious name, somebody give him the praise for what you have done for us now in the name of the Lord. God bless you all this morning. I hope everyone is hearing me loud and clear this morning. Glory to God, and we thank God for the opportunity of gathering together with the saints of God and what God is doing in your life and with your life this morning in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Praise God for you. I want to thank God this morning for, amen, for my grandson, Victor Paul, who have done some great things of setting this studio up for us, amen, and we're reaching, we're reaching more and more, and thank God for his consistency. He was up early this morning getting this together for us in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Thank you, Pastor Hines. We praise God for her, amen. I know that the devil is trying, was trying to attack her body, but we thank God for his healing hands and we thank God for the miracle that he is working in her. Jesus said, I must work the work of him that have sent me while it is day, for the night cometh when no man can work. So we're working the work of God even now in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Yesterday morning, what a word we received from the Lord at the Revelation Pentecostal House of Pray over here in the, in the, in the Fayetteville, North Carolina, 
We receive mighty words from God. We see the hands of God working for us. Amen. And this morning I woke up, amen, when I got home last night from, from church yesterday afternoon, I began to revise the work of the Lord to which the Lord has given me. I ministered at uh, Pastor Heinz Church yesterday. Oh, bless God, and what a good time we had in the presence of the Lord. But this morning I woke up with the word of the Lord from the book of Isaiah, chapter 60, verses 1 to 4. Praise God for everyone that is on this line this morning. God has opened doors for us, and he does not only open the doors, but he created the light. Glory to God, so that you and I should not walk in darkness. Well, I told the folks yesterday, and I think it's worthwhile saying again, light refers to the knowledge that God has given to us. Glory to God. And so this morning in Isaiah chapter 60, verses 1 to 4, it said, Arise. Glory to God. The first word in that, in that scripture said, Arise. We cannot afford to sit down any longer. We got to arise. You only... You can see the light and continue to sit down or lay down or sleep. Oh, man, because we're lazy. But God has cast off the spirit of laziness off of us. Amen. He said the reason why he has created light is for you to move. He said arise, shine. Glory to God. Light causes us to shine. The light, I told that darkness is the darkness will have to disappear because th 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 there is no there is no there is no power of darkness glory to god that is greater than the light the light is always greater than the darkness so any dark path that was in your life glory to god god said i'm creating light so that you can go forward arise shine for thy light has come, glory to God. And he is speaking to the Gentiles. Gentile was known as strangers, foreigners. They were known at one time in the scriptures as dogs, glory to God. We were known as aliens and foreigners. We didn't know where to go, glory to God. We had no place to go on the Sabbath. We have no entrance for us. But now, since Jesus Christ has come, to us, he said, arise, glory to God. Shine, for the light has come, amen. And the glory of the Lord is risen upon it. For, for, for behold, darkness had covered the earth and gross darkness upon the people, glory to God. But the Lord shall arise upon thee, glory to God. The Lord shall arise upon thee, gross darkness that had covered you. And anybody who is still in darkness means that it's because Satan has blinded their eyes. But I want to declare this morning that every blindness, oh, I feel the Lord this morning to somebody, every spirit of blindness is being removed off of you. You know, you get upset because people don't associate themselves with you. It is God that has moved that person out of your life. Amen. You wonder why you can't go where you don't, where you ought to go, and you think that something is holding you back. It is God that is holding you back. Glory to God. What God is holding you back because he is revealing himself to you. Divine revelation is coming. Knowledge is coming. The reason that you are on this prayer conference line because God is giving you knowledge of his own self. You are not going to walk blind. Glory to God. One of the things that Satan is good at is blinding your eyes that you might not see. But the word of the Lord said, Arise, shine, for the light has come. Amen. The Lord is risen upon thee, and the glory of the Lord is seen upon thee. And the Gentiles shall come to the light. Glory to God. The Gentiles. Now is coming to the light. Thank God because sinners are coming to God. You can't walk in a way like you used to walk any longer. Because it is the light. It is the light that shows up every dot and everything that is contrary. Once you turn on the light, everybody see it. That's why the Bible calls 
us as Christians, he called us a city that is set on a hill which cannot be hid. The Lord is my light. Glory to God and my salvation. That's what I got to tell the devil this morning. Amen. I know he was lingering out and hiding out somewhere, but I want to declare this over your life. The Lord is my light. Let me bring it closer to home. The Lord is our light. Glory to God and our salvation. That word salvation means deliverance for the body. It means deliverance for the soul, deliverance for the spirit. This morning, I want to make this declaration. The Lord is our light this morning. He has created all things for us. And I like what the book of Romans said. If we walk in the light as he is the light, we have fellowship one with another and the blood, glory to God, the efficacious blood of the Lord Jesus Christ cleanses us from all sin. Glory to God. I refuse to walk in darkness. I believe in this prayer line this morning. Glory to God. I believe on this prayer conference this morning. Somebody have that same testimony and have that same desire and the same, the same thing that I said this morning. We, ref, we want to tell the devil this morning that we refuse to walk in darkness. Glory to God. We refuse to be confounded by darkness. We refuse to let the darkness overtake us any longer. We will not be overtaken by darkness. Glory to God. We will not be overtaken by things that will keep us away from God. Glory to God. Because the light has come. Light, knowledge of God. You know what John chapter 1 said when Jesus Christ came, they called him the Word. The Bible called it this way. He said in the beginning was the Word. The Word was with God and the very Word was God. All things were made by him and without him there was nothing made that was made. In him was life and the life was the light of men. This light shined in darkness and the darkness could not comprehend the light. Glory to God. It is so true. In the book of Genesis, when you read the book of Genesis, you understand the first thing that God created when there was chaos in the earth. And the Bible said that the earth was without form and void and darkness was upon the face of the deep. God said, let there be light. There will be light in our political realms. Glory to God. I believe God will turn on light in the White House. I believe God is going to turn on the light in the Senate. Glory to God. I believe God is going to turn on the light in the midst of your family, in the light midst of your community. Glory to God. Wherever you are, there's going to be so much light shining. Glory to God that people will start testifying. I've seen the light. Glory to God. I've seen the light. I've seen the change. There must be a change. Glory. There must be a change. For the people of God everywhere, they must be a change by the glory of God. That's why we are praying this morning. We are praying for a change. Glory to God. We are praying for a change to come about what had happened in Uzuza Street. Glory to God. There must be a revival. There must be a revival. But in order for they, they must, they, they must, there will be a revival, there must be a change in our action. There must be a change. You know what Satan does? Amen. He blinded, uh, he blinds our mind. Amen. But the Bible said that our minds must be renewed daily. Amen. We must be able to comprehend what is the depth and what is the height and what is the breadth and what is the length. Glory to God. There is why there's width in God. There is depths in God. There's heights in God. Glory to God that we can reach this morning in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Glory to God. When I was reading the scripture, I was reading uh, when, the, when, when the Lord called Abraham and he was walking with the Lord. Glory to God. The Bible said that he got to a place where darkness overtake him and gross darkness. And he, he got tired at one time and, and darkness began to over. But in the midst, God let him sleep. But in the midst of his sleep, God showed him a vision. And in the midst of the vision, God gave him a lamp. Glory to God. I declare this morning that the same light that the Gentiles saw in the book of Isaiah chapter 60, that God said, arise, glory to God. I want to say to every one of, of us on this line this morning, God is calling us now that the door, glory to God, has opened to us and we have the eyes of an eagle, glory to God. Don't let what God has given to you go to waste. Oh, I say it again. Don't let what God has given to you go to waste because God has something in store for you this morning. 
in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Get ready, get ready. There is a new move of God. Get ready to go into what God had to have for you this morning. Don't stay at the outer court. Go into the very presence of God. Amen. And as you're going in, anything that would try to stop you, amen, you've got something, you've got the equipment in your box this morning to overcome come every power of darkness. You got the arsenal of praying. You got the weapons of prayer. You got the weapons of worship. Glory to God. You got the weapons of praying. You got the testimony. You got the blood of the Lord Jesus Christ working for you. Those are things that is working on your behalf in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. We're overcoming him this morning. Don't give up today. Amen. And the reason that we're here this morning as a coach, I'm just as a coach this morning to coach you how to win, and I declare this morning that you're going to win in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. You're not giving up, you're not giving in in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Before we pray for you this morning and take your prayer request, and I, if we have any new person on the line, let us know that you're there. Glory to God, we will be praying for you this morning. If we got any new family member that want, want us to pray for them, we will be praying for them this morning in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. We'll be praying this morning. Somebody, somebody ask us to pray for the country of Panama. We will be doing that this morning in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Thank you, Mimi, for joining with us. Amen. Her family is from Panama, and she's asking to pray for her family in Panama this morning. We will be praying for that also in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Before I forget, let me do that right now in the name of Jesus Christ. Father, we thank you for everyone that is connecting with us right now around the world. And somebody is calling for Panama City. Lord, the city of Panama needs your salvation. It needs your power. It needs your anointing. They need your deliverance there. God, you know all kind of language. God, you can speak Spanish and French and and all kind of language you can speak, glory to God. Your word said that the nations of the earth shall be gathered unto you. So in the name of Jesus Christ, we call breakthroughs for Panama this morning. We pray that the miracles of the Lord Jesus Christ would be brought into the kingdom of God and somebody is going to be delivered because of the presence of God that we see and feel right here in the studio right now. Each family there, we call for their deliverance. Those that are what once know you and don't know you any longer, we call back backsliders to you in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. We know that backsliders are going to come because you married to the backslider. Bring them back to you in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Uh, we also pray for those that don't know you. We call salvation for them in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. And somebody who know you that is suffering anywhere with any kind of ailments in their body, we call deliverance for them right now in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. We call for, for family to be saved, delivered, washed in the blood, and made purified by the blood of the Lamb. And God, I thank you for doing it in Jesus' name. God bless you. God bless you, it is done for you in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Praise God for your life this morning. Thank God for his word this morning in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. We're going to hear from Pastor Hines. I know she, her voice um, it may not be very long, but we're going to hear from her in a short while. Amen. As she um, just embellish upon the word of the Lord, and then I'll be right back to take your prayer request. Amen. And maybe calling on someone to pray with you and pray for you in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. God bless you. Get your prayer requests in. And if you're on Facebook, amen, please type your requests in and we're going to take it uh, in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. We see you as you're logged on, amen. We see you as you're logged on and we will be taking your requests in the name of the Lord. Pastor Hines, God bless you in Jesus' name. Praise the Lord. It's Isaiah 60 that said, <clears throat> Arise, shine, for the light is come, and the glory of the Lord is risen upon thee. Glory be to God. We thank God for the word that we heard yesterday. Such a great word from you, Apostle. Glory be to God about the light. Glory be to God. And that light is Jesus Christ. Yes. He has come to shine in a dark world. He has come to shine in a dark world. 
Glory be to God. He's come to give us enlightenment, to enlighten us who we really are. Hallelujah. We thank God because he's come to deliver it. He's come to set us free. Because the people, the Bible said, the people that sat in darkness have seen a great light. And he was talking about us, the Gentile people. And I'm so glad because he gave his life, glory be to God, to bring that light to shine in our life today. So he said, arise and shine. Arise. The light is already here. <coughs> arise and shine, for thy light has come, and the glory of the Lord is risen upon thee. What we have to do is to walk in the light. The Bible said, if you walk in the light as he is the light, we will have fellowship. One of the reasons why people can't have fellowship, the, you know, religious people are divided. You know, I'm not with you. I, I, I don't, I don't believe what you're saying, and, and I can't receive what you're saying. And the reason why is because we're not walking in the light. We're not really following Him. When we begin to follow Jesus, we will all speak the same things mind the same things and understand the same things because Jesus is that light. He opened our understanding to who he is. He is he he is God that was made manifested in the flesh, justified of the spirit. He was seen of angels. He was preached unto the Gentiles. He is that God. He is that light. And if we keep our eyes on him Glory be to God, we would see that we have more in common than we fully understand. He is that light. Glory be to God. So we have to get up and we have to let the light not only shine on us, but shine through us in Jesus' name. Amen. Thank you, Pastor Hines. The light that shines through us and for us today. God want that light to continue to flow in the supernatural way for every child of God is known by the light he carry. It brings us to the place that we can dwell. The Bible calls us who are walking with him the lights of the world. Glory to God. We're the city set on a hill. Glory to God. And in the book of Revelation, the light shines so much that the devil could do nothing about it. Glory to God. And for the people of God, when they were coming out, one people, the Egyptians, were in darkness. Glory to God. While the people that God was delivering, God gave them light. There's light in Goshen today. In the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. There is divine knowledge. <laughs> there is divine knowledge for every one of us. We invite you to. If you have a problem. Call somebody who knows to pray for you. Amen. If you have a need. Call somebody who knows how to pray over a need. If you have a fight come up in your home. In your life. You must understand the reason the Bible put us here. If one chasing a thousand, two putting ten thousand to flight. And if any two or three on earth agree touching anything in his name, it shall be done. Maybe you need a miracle and a breakthrough this morning. God has put us here to pray for you, to pray with you. Amen. Perhaps you need a different change, a transformation to take place in your life. We are here to agree for that transformation to take place in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. We're not going to just sit back and tell you we're, we will pray, but we are going to pray. And to prove that this morning, anyone on this prayer line that have a prayer request, somebody is sick and you need to see a healing power of the Lord work on that person's behalf. We still believe in the word of the Lord that the divine will of God be done but the inheritance of the Lord shall not say that they're sick but they're well. He healeth all our diseases. 
Glory to God. He healed all our diseases. If you are financially um, stretched out and you have given to God, you have obeyed the word of the Lord, the word of the Lord said he is going to rebuke the devourer for your sake. Praise God. Once you meet God's requirement, God's going to meet your demands. Let me say that again. Once you meet God's require, God requirements, God is going to meet your demands. Glory to God. Amen. Because my God shall supply all of your needs according to the riches of his glory. Get ready for the move of God in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. We're about to open this conference line for prayer requests this morning. Glory to God. We got about 15 minutes to do that this morning. So we don't want you to be lazy and tired. Amen. You've got to get on here quickly to get your prayer request in. We're about to open the lines. Glory to God. Amen. And we're going to take your prayer request and God's going to take this request seriously this morning in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. We're opening the prayer line now for your prayer request as you get it in in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. The phone line will now open up. Praise the Lord. This is our Boston. Yes. Praise the Lord, everyone. This is Elder Boston. Um, I just got finished speaking to my um, my cousin. Uh, her name is uh, Michelle Rogers, and we have been praying for uh, my cousin. I did ask you and the saints uh, to pray for my cousin of mine. His name is James Rogers. Um, he has cancer, um, and she just let me know that they are actually um, expecting him to transition at any moment. Um, in fact, they're going to put him in hospice. Um, so I did give her a word of encouragement as you were um, speaking, um, but she's definitely asking us to continue to pray for her and also uh, regarding this situation, sir. Her name is Michelle Rogers. All right, let me pray for Michelle Rogers. And once you make that prayer, once you make that um, request, anyone make that request, immediately after you make the request, put back your phone on mute. Amen, because we're getting... We're getting a little feedback on the line, amen. And we remind folks, once you get on from this conference call, amen. As from next week, uh, sorry, as from Wednesday, we'll be able to do it ourselves. But as for today, we're going to ask you to put back your phone on mute immediately when you get that um, prayer request. And don't forget, on Wednesday, we'll be changing our conference. But let me pray right now in the name of the Lord. Father, in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ, we pray for Sister Michelle right now in the name of Jesus Christ. You know her ending, you know her beginning. You know her future, you know the plans of your future, the thoughts you have towards us to give us an expected end. We pray now that they will comfort her even now in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. We are never too far gone. You are the God that raised the dead. You are the God that calls us. You are the God that chose us from the beginning of the world. You preordained us. You have recognized who we are. You recognize our names, our address. You know our future. The future, our future life is in your hands. Now strengthen her in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Even now, in the name of Jesus Christ, let there be a turnaround. And everything that looked chaotic right now, in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ, turn on the light for her. In the name of the Lord Jesus Christ, you speak life and liberty, strength and healing. Let it flow from the crown of the head to the sole of her feet. Let there be quick transformation in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ that she might be able to say, the Lord is my light and my salvation. Whom shall I fear? The Lord is the strength of my life. Of whom shall I be afraid? When the enemy rise up against me to take eat up my flesh, they stumble and fall. Thank you, God, because you're doing it right now. Thank you for the prayer request that came from Elder Boston. Let him hear good testimony of the miracle working power of the living God. Let there be a short testimony of the living God who is able to do the exceeding above all that we ask, think, or even desire. In Jesus' name, amen. Thank you, Elder Boston. It's done in heaven. It's done for you. 
in Jesus' name. Do we have any other person who have a prayer request? Good morning, Apostles Minister York. Um, I actually asked you to pray for my household. Yes. Um, I won't have to go in details because you're aware, so yes. I just pray for um, my household. All right, I will do that right now in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Father, in the name of Jesus Christ, we thank you because Joshua, when he told the people to make a choice, then he summed it up and said, but as for me and my house, we will serve the Lord. Let this household experience the joy of the Lord. Transform that need, that which need to be transformed. Clean that which need to be cleaned. Move how you want to move. God, you are the God who holds all things in the palms of your hands. And since we are secure in your hands, your, body, your word said, while we are yet calling, uh -huh, you are going to show us great and mighty things which we know not of. So we call together. Glory to God. We call together. We come together for a move for uh, Minister York's home in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Let the floodgates of love, let the floodgates of peace, let the floodgates of understanding, let divine knowledge and the spirit of wisdom attach itself to this house now in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. We curse any spirit of havoc, any spirit of separation, any spirit of dissension in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. And we declare right now that by the power of the word and by the blood of the Lamb, you are fixing all things in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Come in the house, O oh God, and fix that which needs to fix now. And we give your name the praise and the glory. Minister York, it is done in heaven. It is done right now in your home. In the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. And the peace of God that passed of all understanding. Keep your heart. Keep your mind. Keep your house. Keep your household. In Jesus' name. It's done. In Jesus' name. Yes, we believe God it is done for you in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. While we're still here, in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ, we're going to ask you once you come off this conference, once you're on, once we take your request, put your phone on mute in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Amen. Somebody's phone still is not on mute. Put it on mute in the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. Don't forget that on this coming Wednesday will be our try it out for our U conference call number. This coming Wednesday, this Wednesday coming up, we're going to change the call of our conference line and we want you to be aware of it. Glory to God, there will be a change and we look forward for you to be a part of this movement in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. The conference call this Wednesday is 712-832-8338. And the access code is 955-9986. We want you to be there with us one this coming Wednesday. Praise God. We will not call this number, but the U number that you're going to call on this coming Wednesday, amen, is 712, glory to God, 832, glory to God, 8330, and your U access code will be 955-998686. So we get that again one more time. We want you to call in on this coming Wednesday. Praise God. Amen. We don't go on Facebook on Wednesday, but this Wednesday, only this Wednesday, we will be on Facebook because we are trying out this U conference call on this coming Wednesday. Only this Wednesday, but you know we don't go on Facebook on Wednesday, but only for this Wednesday we are going to be on Facebook. We look forward for you 
to cooperate with us, amen, as we go into the very presence of God in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. HD, and we will be on this um, um, phone, new phone conference line on this coming Wednesday in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. We thank God for your life, and we thank God for all of you in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Don't forget, don't forget to connect with us in prayer. Praise God. We need to stay in prayer in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. We remember the, re, uh, remind the Revelation Pentecostal House of Prayer for all nations that on Wednesday night we'll give you what, we'll, what we need to do with the Revelation family on the, this coming Wednesday night in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. You'll see what we have to do on WhatsApp. We also like to remind you in Jesus' name that we, uh, we, we look forward for you to share this prayer conference, go on YouTube, share it with your friends and share it with your loved ones. Share it, amen, share this Facebook with someone and invite your family members to join us. Somebody need a deliverance, somebody need a breakthrough, and we need you to pray, and we're going to pray one for another in the name of the Lord. Before we go, do we have any other person that have a prayer request? Amen. All right, God bless you today in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. And again, we want to let each one know that when I leave this prayer conference line, I just don't let you go, but I keep your names in pray. Praise God. I keep your names in pray, and I keep you connected to heaven because I'm praying. The Bible said that the effectual and fervent prayer of the righteous avail avail of much so we are going to keep you in prayer and keep you before the Lord in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ something is happening glory to God we want to pray for the White House praise God we're going to pray for our police glory to God there is a destructive weapon that have set out against the people of God set out to bring bring us down but we believe God today that we're not coming down, we're going forward. God has given us knowledge, glory to God, of where Satan is hiding out and where he is trying to cause trouble, glory to God. We declare right now that God has taken us in a place of hiding, uh, his secret place, the secret place so that we can find reward from God. He that dwelleth in the secret place of the Most High shall abide under the shadows of the Almighty. I'll say of the Lord, He is my refuge and fortress, my God, in Him will I trust. This word of God this morning, that God has given to us this morning, arise. And I encourage you this morning to stand up like the people of God, stand on your feet, go forward. I've said that there's no destructive weapon that can take you down. Amen. Let me say because somebody came here and still you're nervous in your heart. Nothing that the devil does can take you down because you have the light. Glory to God. I think I told the saints yesterday, and I think it's worthwhile saying, we were in Guyana some time ago and we were going through the forest, you know. We were going through that forest, and it was late at night. And in order for us to overcome the snakes in that area, they give us a little light to burn and then they give some people some little uh, stuff to make noise, amen, to keep the snakes away. They said, as long as you got light and you make noise, it keeps the devil away. Well, we don't make the kind of noise like the world make. Glory to God. We don't make the kind of noise that the world make. But if you keep a praise and keep your light on, glory to God. If you keep the kind of noise, the Uruba Shabai, if you keep the kind of noise, if you keep the kind of noise, glory to God. Let me say it again. If you make the kind of noise that, that heaven like, you'll keep the snake off. Because he who offer praise glorifieth the Lord. Glory to God. So when you make that noise, glory to God in the very presence of God, and keep your light on. The snakes will not be able to attack you. Glory to God. So, so, so my encouragement for you this morning, 
to keep your light burning. Let it keep burning. But don't only keep your light, your, your, don't only keep your light burning, but I want to let you know you've got to make some noise with your mouth. Amen. I will bless the Lord at all times. His praise shall continually be in my mouth. My soul shall make her boast in the Lord. The humble shall hear thereof and be glad. We are going to see new experiences in your life. God bless you. Have a Jesus day. The Lord bless you and keep you. The Lord make his face to shine upon you and be gracious unto you. The Lord lift up the light of his countenance upon you and give you his peace both now and forevermore. Go with the peace of God. The Lord bless you in Jesus' name. Bye-bye.